In this video I will show you how to read a tape in feet and inches, how those measurements are commonly written down on blueprints and how to add and subtract some of these feet inches measurements. Fractions of an inch will not be considered for this one. So let's look at the uh, features of a tape. On a tape that typically looks like this, it's got a wobbly end. It's wobbly for a reason, it should stay wobbly. It says feet and inches on it to identify that the measurements are indeed inches and not tenth of a foot. You can also check it that these are not tenths of a feet or anything else that you have a 10 and, and an 11 inch mark on it. Now there's 12 inches in a foot, that's fairly obvious. Uh, for those of you in uh, English speaking countries, uh, but there are other numbers on this tape measure here. After the one foot mark, the uh, red numbers here read one foot one, one foot two, one foot three, one foot four. That's how you read those measurements here. And the lower numbers are 12 inches, 13 inches, 14 inches. Now, on the job site, uh, most people use inches only. Uh, on the job inches only and uh, let me give you a demonstration of that one so I'm gonna create a measurement with inches and uh, a fractions of it how about if something is 17 and a half inches it's easier to say 17 and a half than to say one foot five inches and a half one foot five and a half inches, one foot five inches and a half. Because what happens on a job site, if uh, two people are working on something, one is taking measurements and the other one is cutting on something, cu cutting uh, the uh, measurements, uh, it go usually goes, cut me a piece one foot five. And in a few seconds, was it five foot one or one foot five? That's why it's better just to use inches only. Go 17 and a half, and that's the end of the story. So most people on the job site use, seven, use inches only with appropriate fractions, but, uh, but your blueprints and your plans use that one. And you need to go from one format to another format, and this is how you do it. Here is one foot, one foot five and a half, and you come down here, oh, that's 17 and a half. One foot five, because one foot five is on the same line as 17 inches. In the same way applies further down the road. Three foot five is the same as 41 inches. These inches are continuous from the beginning of the tape measure from the very end of it. Say seven foot three is the same as 87 inches and uh, 9 foot 1 is the same as 109 inches. You can see 9 foot 1 here and 109 inches there on the same line. Now there's another set of marks on a tape measure and that is every every 16 inches on this one is in a red box like so and the next one is 32 inches every multiple of 16 every multiple of 16 is uh, marked and there is also you can see this this kind of arrow on the tape measure there on the blade of the tape measure this is for stud layout for common uh, stud spacing it is at every 16 inches that's why you see it at 16 at 32 the next one is at 48 and the next one is at 64 here and the next one is at 80 inches okay and on it goes a last set of markings is on a tape measure is there this diamond here is placed that's a diamond let's zoom in there we go that's a diamond it is at every 19.2 feet. Now 19.2 feet is not 19 
sorry 19.2 sorry my bad my every 19.2 inches now 19.2 inches is about uh, 1 foot 7 and 3 16 but it's not entirely the mark is not in, not exactly on the 3 16 line just waiting for the camera to focus getting there uh, maybe it's a little too close maybe how about that one let's try that one sorry guys there we go uh, the diamond doesn't exactly line up with 19 and 3 16 because the next one should be 3 16 twice is 6 16 it should be a 3 8 let's find the next one and you can clearly see on that one that it's next to the 3 8 mark it's not at the 3 8 it's not at the 7 16 either it's in between I'm looking at the very tip of the of the diamond mark there so uh, that one marks every 19.2 inches and it is to uh, lay out some engineered uh, ceiling joists so those are the markings on the tape measure and uh, now let's add some of these numbers so you see what I'm talking about here by adding and subtracting in feet and inches for example 3 feet 5 inches and a quarter and that's how it's written down with uh, that doesn't mean a subtraction okay that means 3 feet 5 inches and a quarter or you can write it down uh, feet and inches in a different format you can write it without whiskers on a blueprint you might see that for a window size I need a 3-0 window that's 3 feet 0 inches or uh, or I need a 3-6 window that's not 3 minus 6 that's 3 feet 6 inches and uh, usually feet are marked with one whisker there and inches is marked with two whiskers I'm gonna use this notation here so that's this one reads 3 feet and as in plus 3 feet and 5 and a quarter inch which is found here 3 feet 5 inches and a quarter is found there let's zoom in a little bit there 3 feet 5 and a quarter is found there okay and let's add to it 2 feet 10 and uh, 3 eighths now I uh, know I said in the beginning of the video that uh, fractions will not be considered in this video so I'm just gonna cross over these fractions you can do fraction addition when you watch the uh, the other video on uh, in the sequence about fraction addition I want to just focus on feet and inches just for this one so 5 plus 10 is oops, 5 plus 10 is 15 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so 5 feet 15 inches uh, that measurement uh, is nice and is correct but there is no 5 foot 15 inches on a tape measure you have a 5 foot mark sorry a 5 foot mark here 5 foot 5 5 foot 10 5 foot 11 there is no 5 foot 12 uh, consequently there is no 5 foot 15 because 12 of these make 1 foot so the answer is 12 of these you have to subtract 12 of these and uh, that is 3 the remainder is 3 12 inches out of these 15 inches makes a new foot so the answer is 6 foot and 3 inches now let me get these fractions back a quarter and 3 eighths a quarter and 3 eighths is uh, gonna equal to 5 eighths because 1 quarter is 2 eighths 
and 3 eighths is 5 eighths, that's so that's 5 eighths as is. But if the sum of the fractions is longer than an inch, it should be considered and added to the inches as well in the final answer. Uh, let me do another one again without fractions of an inch. How about 17 feet 8 inches and uh, how about 2 foot 10 inches. Add the two together. 8 plus 10 is 18 inches and 17 plus 2 is 19 feet. Now that 18 inches is too many, you have to subtract 12 from it. 8 minus 2 is 6, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that 12 carries into a new measurement, so that's going to be 20 feet, and that 6 gets written down here. 20 feet and 6 inches. That's how these measurements work out. We can do the same with subtracting a decimal here, or uh, sorry, subtracting uh, one measurement from another. How about 7 foot 3 inches and we need to subtract 2 foot 7 inches now from 7 inches we cannot cannot take away 7 inches from 3 inches so this 3 inches must be increased by 12 so we have to take away 1 foot here so that's going to be 6 feet now but the 12 inches, that, that 1 foot difference gets added here. So now we have to add 12 to it and I'm working upside down now. 12 plus 3 is 15. So we have 6 feet 15 inches. Now we can take away 2 feet 7 inches. 15 minus 7 is 8 inches. And 6 minus 2 is 4 feet 8 inches is the final answer. And again, if there are fractions after, after the uh, whole numbers for inches, then those must be considered also, and it's just making the subtraction uh, even longer. And, uh, and uh, that's something that uh, I need you to experiment uh, on your own and uh, figure it out how those ones can be done. But. Uh, just to make sure you get the mechanics of this one let's take away from 10 feet 2 inches I don't know 8 feet uh, 4 inches now again we cannot take away from 4 inches we cannot take away 4 inches from 2 inches so we have to trade some of this and this becomes 9 feet and the 12 inches must be added to the 2 inches to make 14 inches now 14 minus 4 we've got 10 inches left over here and 9 minus 1 is 1 foot 10 inches is the answer to this subtraction problem so that's basically how we do these operations with uh, feet and inches on a tape measure and these get combined with fraction addition and fraction subtraction if there is a measurement like uh, 4 foot 7 and a half and we add to it a number like 3 feet 2 and 3 eighths and these are inches and those are inches you can do this one on your own and figure this one out from standard fraction addition here is another one 7 feet 11 and I don't know 5 eighths of an inch and let's add to it 3 feet 4 inches and another no how about 15 no no that won't work yeah 15 16 there and now in this in this particular problem you have to pay attention to this one because this will make a mixed number which it's gonna make more than one inch because 15 16 is already one inch and uh, you have to make a mixed number out of this one and the mixed number the whole number from the mixed number must be added to the inches 
to the total of the inches that's gonna come down here and when it's all written down here you have to trade 12 of those if there are available more than 12 uh, into feet so uh, I'll let you work out the uh, intricacies with this one and uh, and uh, you have to make your own conclusions on uh, how subtraction works and uh, figure it out uh, bring it to class.